Well, welcome again to our Newman newsletter. Uh, and as we move towards the end of term, there's a great celebration that's upon us, and that's the coming of Christmas. And as we seek to celebrate not just our school year, but celebrate the birth of Christ, to really take the opportunity um, to walk with your children at this time. Uh, as a community, we've still got three PK to 12 family masses on Thursday. So if you have the opportunity, I really encourage you uh, to have your children and yourself to come along to our mass uh, in that preparation uh, for Christmas. Over the course of the last week, we celebrated NAIDOC right across the school. In our community, students actively participate in celebrating the history, the culture and, and the traditions of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. And we saw that on display at respective campuses. As we draw towards the end of term, there's really exciting news coming out of our Marston campus with the near completion of our new learning hub. There's been a lot of landscaping and other earthworks that have just commenced. So students in the next couple of weeks have had to navigate themselves around a whole range of different obstacles. But rest assured, when this building is complete and the landscaping is finished, this is really gonna be a very special place to learn in our community. This week, we welcome new families in pre-kindergarten and kindergarten on our Marion campus. It was a great opportunity for families to get acclimatised to that great expectation of starting school here at Newman College. We also had the opportunity this week to welcome our new Year 7 students again for 2021. Along with our existing Year 6 students, they came together for a transition workshop which really is aimed towards getting to know each other and getting to understand and becoming present to our Maris community. Last week, we had our gifted and talented showcase on our Lavalla campus, which was well attended by families. The focus of the showcase was the Students' Project for Homelessness. I commend the students for their high level of critical thinking and reflection that went into their presentation. It's been a really busy week with our creative and performing arts and real affirmation and congratulations to all those who have been in respective music nights that have happened over the course of the last week. Thanks to our tutors, uh, to our music and creative performing arts teachers for really bringing to life their talents in these performances. We are looking forward to attending our keenly anticipated production Matilda later this month. Students and staff have been working tirelessly to ensure an enjoyable and engaging event. If families have not organised a ticket yet, I really encourage you to do so. As we move towards the end of term, I know students have been working really hard, particularly as they finalise their assessments and their tasks. This week we saw the conclusion of our ATAR exams and Year 11 are also just about finished their study. Next week though, in the secondary school, we will have our awards ceremony and recognising the gifts and talents and all that hard work and commitment of our students. Across the rest of the school, as we move towards the end of term, there are so many wonderful things happening, swimming lessons among other things, but really that opportunity to celebrate the end of the year, particularly as we move towards Christmas.